Frank Clody, my grandfather's grandfather, was born in Germany on February 13, 1866. After boarding the ship Westphalia, he arrived in New York City on October 24, 1882, with his parents Franz and Maria at the age of 16. They became one of the very first settlers in Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. The day after the young family moved into their house on Spring Street, Frank cut down willow trees among the bank of the Menominee River. He and his father wove them into baskets, which Frank sold to housewives out shopping. He ended up making $55, the equivalent of about $1,200 today. Thus, he began the history of the entrepreneurial spirit in the Clody family. Upon getting older, Frank moved to Milwaukee and began working at the Fisher Furniture Firm. He studied the furniture making process on his own in whatever free time he had during the day. He eventually passed on his knowledge to his son, Emil. Emil was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on January 11, 1887. In 1920, he opened the Clody Furniture Company, which grew to become a huge success. It first opened on 1020 North Broadway in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is now an academic building owned by the Milwaukee School of Engineering. After the Clody Furniture Company outgrew the building on North Broadway, it was housed on six floors of a building on Plankinton Avenue in central Milwaukee. It was a family-run business and was eventually taken over by my grandfather, James. The Clody Furniture Company closed in 1979, but its importance to historic Milwaukee lives on. A Clody Furniture Company for storefront can be found in an exhibit in the Milwaukee Public Museum called The Streets of Old Milwaukee. James, the final owner of the Clody Furniture Company, had three sons, one of which is my father, Frederick, or Fritz, Clody. My father was, of course, gifted with the handiwork of his father, grandfather, and great-grandfather before him. He helped build my childhood home. He and my grandfather also built the large deck off the back of the house themselves. My father went to school at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and received a degree in industrial engineering. Upon graduation, he eventually started the Clody Company as a manufacturer's representative. To this day, he advises and sells to those searching for explosion-proof enclosures, which are housed in large factories. I am one of my father's three daughters, and all of us have very different aspirations. My sister Megan hopes to become a special education teacher. My other sister Emily hopes to become a lawyer. I wish to open my own private music therapy practice. One can only imagine what the three of us can do with our rich ancestry of those who are good with their hands and gifted with a business-centered mind. Though it is a great deal of pressure to live up to the Clody name, I am grateful I have such intelligent, successful family members to look up to. I have the utmost confidence that my sisters and I will carry on the Clody family's entrepreneurial legacy.